it's April 2021. Uh, so we're not on my land right now, but this is where I park the vehicles in mud season. So may as well just call it my parking lot. Got my fleet of vehicles there. But I don't dare drive on the dirt road during mud season because it's not worth it. It'll just tear it up and cost me more time and money. Because right now, you know, even just walking, you're bound to open up a sinkhole with each footstep. Like that. And that. Yep. So, this is where I park safely. I uh, just wanted to show a new accessory for my truck. I don't even know, I guess, what you would call this thing. But, basically, uh, just a thing to extend the bed. So I bought some new 10-foot roof panels for my roof. Because, you know, I'm not done getting the panels on there. And this thing, it's... Uh, it doesn't require any tools to assemble, it's all just pins. So the height is adjustable, you just pull out a pin, move it up and down. Same with these goal post things, if you go in and out, which is to pin on either side. So it was, uh, it was 70 bucks from walmart.com and made things pretty easy. Previously, I would either use a trailer or uh, I put these things on the roof of my Grand Cherokee, which is a bit of a challenge solo. But I've done it. So this is good, uh, but also like I said, I don't drive anything further than this during mud season. So uh, I've been carrying them in. This is the last one. It's not too difficult. Yeah, I mean they're they're big, a little awkward, but not too heavy. So the answer to your question is three quarters of a mile. That's how far I carry each one of these things. This is my workout, people. Just living up here. So live and learn. I probably shouldn't have waited until the last panel before recording this, because full disclosure here, this is the second time I've carried this exact panel back to the camera. Because the first time it wasn't working, didn't record. But, you know, my viewers expect nothing but quality video, so of course I carried it back there, carried, <laughs> carried it up again. Uh, it looks like it's recording successfully this time. I'm not going to do this a third time. Alright. I've got the roof panels carried up here. They're over there behind the camera. Maybe I'll get them on the roof next weekend, whenever I get time. But right now, more importantly, is I need some water. I'm out of water. So I had talked about this in the past, you know, how I pump it out of the well. Um, but, well, let me grab the... So I was getting it out of the well via this little well pump that hooks into a drill, pumps the water out, uh, which did the job, but I have to sit there holding the thing. It's slow, and it actually got to a point a couple times where the water level was too low for the water to pump out. This just wasn't powerful enough. Water's kind of important, so, so I upped my game. Um, I got the Ryobi um, hybrid uh, water transfer pump, so hybrid because it runs off battery, or you can plug it in. Cord plugs in there, if you so please. But way quicker, more reliable, more powerful, and worth the $100 that I spent on it. So I'll hook that up and fill up my, my jug here. Then I'll be able to survive another day or two. Now first off, before I hook up the hoses, so put a hose on either side here, inlet, outlet. You have to oil the thing with every use. And of course, I'm not too keen on, you know, drinking fossil fuels out of my water, so I just use vegetable oil every time. Just pour a little bit 
into the inlet and you're good to go because you know, just just like the other water pump there's there's a rubber wheel in here that spins and if you didn't oil it it would just be friction uh, you know rubber against plastic just rip the whole thing apart and would not be able to get me water that would be no good So this guy, got it tied to a piece of wood just to keep it straight. Makes it a little easier to control. Screw that on. There we go. Other side for the water that's going to go into my jug. Okay. Now, of course, um, of course, since I did put the vegetable oil in there, I run it for for a few seconds just to pump out the, the bulk of the oil. It's not gonna hurt me, but it, um, like I said, I, I pass it through a Brita filter inside and this stuff clogs up the filter. See that, coming out a pretty good clip. So this is, I think, two and a half gallon jug. Won't take long at all to fill it. There you go. Really minimal effort for a couple days worth of water. So I know that those of you viewing this, viewing this video, uh, range from people who who do live off grid, doing the same thing, or want to be want to be doing the same thing, all the way to um, range from people like my my sister in law Megan, who's uh, according to my brother, her her face is white right now watching this video, seeing how I live. Uh, doesn't understand or can't can't relate to living this way but what I just did there pumping the water from the well that for me is uh, I mean it's I feel spoiled like just right out in my front yard I just get free water from the ground I don't have to rely upon any utility I'm not gonna run out of water like I said it's free and this is year 11 of owning this land. I've, I've only lived here full time for a year, but 11 years of doing this and things used to be a lot more difficult. Um, you know, carrying in water, carrying it in in the winter, snowshoeing it in. The fact that I can just get it from the ground, uh, like I said, feel spoiled, I always will.